donations have been pouring in from everywhere for hurricane victims. Students at Andrew Jackson Middle School decided to start taking donations on their own. WSAZ's Luke Hamilton reports the Student Leadership Club has a goal to expand the funds beyond the school community and their families. Andrew Jackson Middle School's Student Leadership Club began accepting donations after seeing the devastating impacts of Hurricane Helene. I feel like it's very eye-opening for us because maybe some people haven't heard about it or they have and maybe they've been affected by it. I mean, it was really just like devastating to see all the communities and families and animals even that were affected by this hurricane. Isabella Swain and Allison Bow are members of the Leadership Club. They say different items will be donated through organizations based on how much you give, with options ranging from one to twenty-five dollars. And we try to make like the donation inclusive as possible, so it's not just cash or checks. They can donate online with a check or with cash. All of the collected funds for food and cleaning supplies will go to the Samaritan's Purse, and pet donations will be provided to the ASPCA. The club's sponsor, Laura Rawlings says she talked to the principal about the best way to make a difference. I think anytime youth is involved in something that is important to the community, people are more likely to listen and they're more likely to donate toward a cause, um, showing that students are leading it. The club and their sponsor agree it all starts with small communities. And I think that's part of being a West Virginian as well. Small communities bond together and they help each other when that help is needed. The club will take donations through next Friday. They say the organizations are already in western North Carolina and eastern Tennessee providing relief. In Cross Lanes, Luke Hamilton, WSAZ. Now the homeroom classes with the most collected donations will have a reward of some kind, and they're going to keep track by putting a picture of the donated items on each door of the classrooms.